But if you knew Trifo, who he is that is called at one time the Angel of Great Counsel, and a man by Ezekiel, and like the Son of Man by Daniel, and a child by Isaiah, and Christ and God to be worshipped by David, and Christ and a stone by many, and wisdom by Solomon, and Joseph and Judah, and a star by Moses, and the East by Zechariah, and the Suffering One, and Jacob and Israel by Isaiah again, and a rod, and flower, and cornerstone, and Son of God, you would not have blasphemed him who has now come, and been born, and suffered, and ascended to heaven, who shall also come again, and then your twelve tribes shall mourn. For if you had understood what has been written by the prophets, you would not have denied that he was God, son of the only unbegotten, unutterable God. For Moses says somewhere in Exodus the following, the Lord spoke to Moses and said to him, I am the Lord, and I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, being their God. And my name I revealed not to them, and I established my covenant with them. And thus again he says, A man wrestled with Jacob, and asserts it was God, narrating that Jacob said, I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. And it is recorded that he called the place where he wrestled with him, appeared to and blessed him, the face of God. And Moses says that God appeared also to Abraham near the oak in Mamre, when he was sitting at the door of his tent at midday. Then he goes on to say, And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, three men stood before him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them. After a little, one of them promises a son to Abraham. Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety bear a child, and I am old? Is anything impossible with God? At the time appointed I will return, according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. And they went away from Abraham. Again he speaks of them thus, and the men rose up from thence, and looked towards Sodom, then to Abraham, he who was and is again speaks, I will not hide from Abraham, my servant, what I intend to do. And what follows in the writings of Moses, I quoted and explained, from which I have demonstrated that he who is described as God appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob and the other patriarchs, was appointed under the authority of the Father and Lord, and ministers to his will. Then I went on to say what I had not said before. And so, when the people desired to eat flesh, and Moses had lost faith in him, who also there is called the angel, and who promised that God would give them to satiety, he who is both God and the angel sent by the Father, is described as saying and doing these things. For thus the scripture says, and the Lord said to Moses, Will the Lord's hand not be sufficient? You shall know now whether my word shall conceal you or not. And again, in other words, it thus says, But the Lord spoke unto me, You shall not go over this Jordan. The Lord your God, who goes before your face, he shall cut off the nations.